Hi, I'm Ariana Papri Metropolis, and we're at Wild and Cran today for my exhibit, The Man Who Saved a Dog from an Imaginary Fire. So the whole show is kind of about delusion and altered states and one reality versus another. I guess I paint pretty realistically and all the paintings are scaled to the size that they would be in actuality. So I try to have rooms be the, the size of a room that you can walk into. The gingerbread house is the size of a gingerbread house, almost as if like you can walk into it. There's three larger works in the show and they have what looks like a watermark in the middle of it. Those are created where I take a picture of an image, print it out and then pour water onto it. So basically it's an ink bleeding. When that happens and it's painted, a lot of people will come up to me and be like, oh, there's a girl in it, or there's a bird over here, or a unicorn over there. I think of the water as being kind of this portal. It becomes abstract, and in that way, people begin to see their own shapes and forms. So this painting is called Holy Water. It is of a Mormon church in Utah. Um, a lot of people, when they first see it, think of it as a theater. It's all very fantastical and kind of looks like it could be in Disneyland. And I am interested in how we use basically decorating as a form of like transporting you into another realm. In the center of the exhibition, there's 200 novels that I collected and they all have women running out of houses on the cover of them, but they're all romance novels. So it's always, the women are always running away from these mansions or villas or somewhere really fancy. They're never running away from like an apartment building or a condo. There's something about like the grandiose environment that you have to run. It's like running away from the dream or something like that. In general, when I do an exhibition, I like to have an installation as like an opportunity to almost go into one of the paintings. So for the installation that has the video and the exercise bike, it's basically supposed to be an exercise room. I was really interested in fantasy furniture and how we use fantasy furniture in normal domestic interiors, even having house plants to duplicate nature. So it's kind of how we're trying to deal with being domesticated, but also still being, you know, a human. So I guess I started painting pretty young. There's something about the surface of a painting that kind of seems seamless that I am a, I'm attracted to. I'm always like dealing with the surface of painting. I'll do you know, tears in a painting, or um, I'll pour water onto an image to kind of reveal another side of the image. Or I'll also do uh, lenticular images where I photograph a lenticular postcard and it's in between state. There's one in the show, the winking girl, and I photographed her and like in the in-between when she's half winking, half blowing a kiss. So you can kind of see the ghost of her hand, the ghost of her eye. The role of women in my paintings, there's kind of a sense of trickery. So it's kind of these really ideal settings, ideal women with their perfect hair and their perfect house outfits and they're very seductive. There's always like some darkness to everything I do. If the viewer is into that sort of thing, they'll either see it or they won't. So I kind of like, that's why all my work is kind of in this in-between state where it can either be light or dark. It's not really forcing anything upon you.